When you get your prescriptions filled by mail,
What is up, people? How's it going? Let's welcome everybody in from Twitch and YouTube. We've got Johnny the Taco over on Twitch. Over here on YouTube, we've got Dad the Psycho G Man. James Payne, how's it going out there? And those of you that are not talking, hello to you anyway. Two challenges left, guys. Two challenges. Two more. We've got the Red Breast Carper. And we got the modeled eel. I am in mod chat, Dad. If you want to hop in, and let's hop on over to in game. Let's get after it. We've got to get some streaming in here before the national championship game tonight. I am pumped, hoping that Purdue wins tonight. I don't really care. Well, I do see a scenario for those of y'all that know. Or have been following college basketball at all. Calipari left Kentucky and has gone to Arkansas. He'll probably, like he did when he left Memphis, bring all the recruits that he had coming to Kentucky. He'll take them to, to Arkansas. And that's fine because had he got them at Kentucky... He couldn't have won with them anyway, because that's what he does. He gets a team loaded with NBA talent, gets everybody's <laughs> hopes up, and then he loses in the first round of the SEC tournament and the NCAA tournament. So I know everybody's going to be belly aching when they start seeing all the names depart. We've already, I've already seen it. Kevin Knox is reopening up his recruitment. All these recruits that were going to come to Kentucky opening up the recruitment and going, and they'll probably end up at Arkansas with Calipari, just like all the Memphis players, John Wall and all of them came to Kentucky um, and followed Calipari. And that's fine. They can go there. And I'm sure he'll be successful at Arkansas for the first three or four years before he bombs out. So I am happy that he's gone. I wanted him gone anyway. They could hire me. Uh, just a little, I know we're fishing, but I just got to, I got to get on my, my soapbox here for a second. They could hire me, pay me $100,000, save millions, and I will guarantee you that I also can lose in the first round of the SEC tournament and the NCAA tournament. Guaranteed, and you can save millions. So there you go. That's the way I really feel about it. Got that off your chest, huh? Oh, it feels great. When I saw the news, I was like, oh, and everybody was like, well, who are we going to get to replace him? I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. If you can't win with seven NBA players on your team, you ain't winning anyway. He don't know how to coach. He knows how to recruit. He doesn't know how to coach. So there we go. He can thank Anthony Davis that he was that great of a college basketball player that actually won him a national championship. So, wow, that was that. That's how long ago that was. Yes, 2012. Anthony Davis and my two-week-old great nephew could have coached that team to a national championship. <laughs> I mean, it's he was that loaded with that. Here you had Anthony Davis, who is a phenom. This, this I don't know if y'all knew this. Anthony Davis in high school was a point guard. He hit this big growth spurt. So he's like in college playing for Kentucky at 6'11 and still able to handle the ball because he grew up as a point guard and hit this big growth spurt. A lot of people don't realize that. That's what made Anthony Davis so special is he could dribble, pass the ball, rebound the ball. And when he blocked a shot, he didn't block it into the 10th row out of bounds. You know what he did? He tapped it and come down with the rebound. He was a special player, Anthony Davis was. So he won that national championship for John Calipari. All right, now let's fish. <laughs> let's pick some challenges up. Yes, Mike. He's one of the greatest ball player. One of the one. Of, he's a great NBA player. Don't get me wrong, but in college he was, yeah. 
You know, some pl- some players are absolute beasts in college, and they go to the NBA and they don't do too good. I'm not. He's done good in the NBA. Don't get me wrong, but in college, could you imagine had he stayed four years in college? <clears throat> but that's another reason why I don't like John Calipari. He don't he don't recruit players that will stay there for three or four years. You know, I'm of the mindset. Yeah, you need a couple of those five star one and dones. But you also need some of those three- and four-star players that are going to hang around so that you're going to have that senior leadership in the end. And always, and this goes for any any basketball team, any state out there, whatever state we're talking about, always recruit the best ball player in your state because they're going to bleed for you. They're going to dive on the floor. They are playing for that name across the chest. So Kentucky's Mr. Basketball every year should be on Kentucky's bench at least. And Calipari didn't recruit him. He didn't even recruit him half the time. I don't know if y'all can tell I'm passionate about it or not, but just in case, you know, I just figured I'd throw it out <laughs> Just there. a little bit. I, I just I, figured I I'd throw it out there a little bit. <laughs> um, I did too, G-Man. G-Man, you left right before I caught mine. Remember yesterday when I came over yesterday evening, I came over and fished right beside you, and uh, I think it was Crash. Um, you left the server, and five minutes later, I kid you not, I caught my diamond uh, canary right there. Let's see. Any? Hmm. Don't forget your weeklies, too. Or is that what you're looking at? Oh, I do need to get my weeklies. Hold on just a second. All right, I'm back. All right, I like these weeklies. Dang, these are some nice weeklies. Love that. So what you going for? Well, red, bre- red breast right now. I'm in the spot. Which one of these lakes? I've been fishing these little five lakes. You, I, I heard you say that you were burning it yeah, up. I, well, look, I, I saw a diamond caught in one of those, and I went over and caught a bunch of gold. Yeah, you see those lakes? The second one from the top is where I saw the diamond caught. Okay. On the side you're on right now. Okay. See, right next to where the that's kind of what I figure deep. happens is... Um, yeah. It if was you can the, catch... Uh, I, bet, I bet that you can catch one out of any of these five. Right, and it and like I said, I've only seen one, so I'm not saying you know that's going to be like a great location. But I have caught golds out of it trying to get a diamond. Yeah, so I'll go here as long as I get me a gold. I'm on the two pound line, and then mine was uh, G man. Mine was one point seven something. One point seven seven was mine. Pass towards the east side of that lake from the uh, dock in the middle of it. At least that's where the dime was caught, and that's where I caught some golds. If you stand in the middle of that dock and then, you know, face east and cast out there. I imagine you're talking about this dock over here. Uh, the one on the right right there. That's the one I was standing on. How did and, you cast? In the, in, the, out there, in the middle, there's like a blank spot. Like a spot where you got a little bit of room to oh, pass I see. in the middle. Oh, I see. I thought it had guardrails yeah. all the way across. No, it's got little sections where you can actually cast through it. All right, let's make double check, make sure. I'm pretty sure I'm set up already. Yeah, right Two there. Two-pound line, prologue. We're good. Let's uh, go. No promises on that one because that, you know. Um, I'm actually... There goes one. My... um second gear challenge two guy just hit youtube 
right before I went live here, like maybe an hour before yeah, I, I went live. Yeah. So, and I've already got enough for the third one, which hopefully maybe I'll put out tomorrow. And if I can catch these two, I'll have enough for the fourth one. We got Les and Mike that I need to give points to for modding for me. Hey, Darth, what time is it on your server? Uh, I will check right here in a second. But yeah, uh, so do you guys want to know who I think should be the next UK coach? It's not even being mentioned. Um, well, here's my, I want, uh, yeah, dad's a psychos on YouTube. If you can just kind of keep a look on chat every once in a while, dad, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Kirby smart. Oh, you're talking football, bro. Uh, no, um, of course I want Danny Hurley, but listen to me. If Danny Hurley wins the championship tonight, do you know that is four national championships for UConn in the last 13 years? Now, Danny Hurley, that would be only his second. But for the University of Connecticut. So we're talking about a team here that at that point would have five total national championships. Kentucky's got eight. Why would you leave? I mean, if I'm Danny Hurley, I, I hope he does. I hope that he's the next coach at UK. But if I'm Danny Hurley, I'm staying put. I mean, you've got a dynasty going at UConn. Right, Mike. I don't think he, I don't think Danny Hurley leaves. I mean, I think you definitely call him, make him say no. But I don't think Danny Hurley leaves UConn. The only chance would be if he were to lose a national championship tonight and have maybe a little bit of a bad taste in his mouth and and he's going to lose a bunch of his players and maybe he don't have much coming in for next year. And Kentucky just offers him a sweet deal now that they don't have to buy Calipari out. I mean possibly but you better bet that UConn's probably going to counter the offer of whatever Kentucky offers because that would be back-to-back -back national championships so UConn would probably sweeten the pot for him if they win tonight so anyway I'm going to say that he says no I'm going to say Jay Wright says no because those are the two top ones Brad Stevens is going to say no um, he gave up coaching to be an executive and he only has one person to answer to, and that's the owner of the Boston Celtics. So, um, I don't, I don't think he comes back to coaching college ball. Now, Billy Donovan, I'm hearing is expressing interest and I think that would be an excellent hire. Um, Billy Donovan has Kentucky roots. He was an assistant for Rick Pitino. So... I think Billy Donovan would be a possibility, but I'm going to predict that it's going to end up being Nate Oates is who it's going to be. That's not who I want. Who I want is Buzz Williams, and his name's not even being mentioned. Why do I want Buzz Williams, okay? He is an X's and O's coach. He actually coaches. He knows the game. He beat Kentucky twice this year. Knocked us out of the SEC tournament. And that's not the only time he's done it either. And he's been successful everywhere he's gone. The players love him, right? The players love him. Show me fish. I've just caught one. I love basketball. Comes with it. Sorry. 
I'm going to talk about UK ball. I am who I am. If you don't like it, sorry. That's the time of the year, man. Yep. You're going to hear about UK ball when you come to this stream. So that's just, especially right now, since Calipari has been leaving. So I keep it real with you. Some don't like me. Some do like me. But I'm not changing. So um, anyway, Buzz Williams has won his games with uh, less. He has done more with less. And I'm not saying that he's going to recruit the type of players that Calipari got. And I don't care because Calipari recruited awesome players and couldn't do anything with them anyway. So what I am saying is this, just because it's the University of Kentucky, he's going to get quality players just because of that. He may not get Calipari as many as Calipari would have got, but he will get good players. He will he will have more talent on his Kentucky roster than he's had at Texas A&M. We'll put it that way. So if he could be as successful as he was at Texas A&M and come to Kentucky, I feel like he's the right age. He knows how to coach. The players love him. I think he'd be a good fit, but nobody's talking about him. So it's probably going to be Danny Hurley if he'll take it, which I don't think he will. I think it's really going to be Billy Donovan or Nate Oates. It'll be one of those two. My issue with Nate Oates, though, is um, Alabama was pretty much a black Kentucky this year. Excellent offense, but just didn't play defense. And I want a team that's going to be balanced and play defense, too, you know? We've hooked into something good. If this ain't a blue carper, we've done it. It's hard to tell them apart. I've been trying to look at them in yeah, the water. And there's been times that I've been like, oh, that's got a red belly. And then I pull it in and it's a blue carper. I'm like, huh, I could have swore it was a red, red breast. Captain R. Lewis. Sorry, my son's having issues with the, got this little pole saw thing he's cutting the hill off with and it's smoking real bad or something. All right. Uh, cane break. Thank you, bud. R. Lewis, how's it going, bud? Welcome in. Uh, are you talking about which record was it again? Dad, what record was it that you got? He must have stepped away for a second. I got my 1K rep yesterday. Nice. I am two challenges away, Stevie. We can get this red breast. We'll go after the eel. I'm hoping to knock it out during this stream. Then we can start going I'm after back. some dimes, baby. What record was it you got, Dad? I forgot. Uh, 
It was the uh, Red Nose uh, Labeo. Apparently, apparently, it didn't last very long. <laughs> oh, is it already broken? Uh, I, R. Lewis said that. I, I haven't looked myself, but I figured it would be. I mean, I was just glad to have one record. I was good with it. I've been racking them up today on your top five, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see, I'm going to hit that once I can. That gone it, Blue Kerper. I don't know if you saw that. I got a gold one just a second ago. <laughs> Blue Kerper. No, uh, Red Breast. Which pond? I'm standing right next to you. Look to your left. Oh, I see it now. Oh, yeah, it's 1749. Yeah, oh. you see there, 960. I'm two challenges away. Both LaBeo records were topped today. Were you the one that topped them? <laughs> no, I think his got beat too. He had he had the purple nose. Oh. I just caught back to back golds. <laughs> um Yeah, that's my my plan is I'm gonna get bingo and then I'm gonna look at uh getting a diamond on the leaderboard in every category if I can. How's the exactly African fishing going? Marty the Fearless. Um, we're, it's going good. We're just we're two challenges away from having that 1K rep done. What's up, Bay? How's it going? I pushed the boat to the spotted bass pond today. Listen, Akami, how's it going, bud? You ain't going to believe this. Now, for those of y'all, y'all know I've been streaming for four years, right? And you guys know that, like, talking about over on the Hunter Call of the Wild, I have never, ever reset my populations or anything. Like, I've, I'm 100% legit across the board. Some people consider resetting your population cheating. Some people don't. Me, personally, it's cheating, but to each their own. I don't reset my population. Like, I shoot and shoot and shoot until my diamond spawns. So, I won't even let someone give me a diamond. Like, I must find it. I must shoot it. Anyway, I'm the most anti-cheat person you're ever going to meet. I got accused of cheating today. I got a, I got accused of cheating because I pushed the boat over to that pond. And they said I cheated to get my diamond because I pushed that boat over to the pond. They, they said that was cheating. Somebody did. Pushing the boat, the John boat, over to the pond is cheating, according to somebody. <laughs> I'm guessing that they've never tried to push the boat over to the pond because they have no idea how long it takes to even push it over there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how they consider that. <laughs> it's, you're definitely working for that diamond. If you <laughs> Like, I don't even think I'm going to push a boat over there again. I don't know that it's worth it. <laughs> I still haven't done it yet. Uh, yeah, if you're not manipulating, like, using mods or manipulating files in some way, right. to me, you're yeah. not cheating. I mean, the John boat, I mean, even Jaxi mentioned when the John boats were put in the yeah. game that you could push them around and stuff. Like, I mean, yeah, they it's were like, talking about doing it. <laughs> but someone did. They sure did. They said I was a cheater because I pushed the John boat over there. Oh, good Lord. <clears throat> I think it's hilarious. Well... Catch another diamond from the shore. That can be done, too. Yeah. I'm definitely thinking about doing that, though, at least once. Well, I mean, I ain't going to say I'll never push it over there again. There are times I can push that boat over there easily. And then there's yeah. times that it's aggravating and it gets hung up on rocks or flipped over. Or, <laughs> like, if I can push it over there in five minutes or less, I'll do it. If not, I ain't worried about it. I got frustrated halfway there. That's why I just gave up. I just. It kept putting me in the boat when I was pushing it. It would put me in the boat like just so many times in a row. And I finally yeah. just had enough. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like there's times that I can push it for a long. Oh, I think that's a big red breast right in front of me right now. I think I saw red on its belly. 
But there, there's it's just – there's fun. times I would push it for long, like 50 meters, 100 meters, and it never put me in the boat. And then there's other times, like, I just touch it, and I'm automatically in the boat. Right. It took longer to push the boat to the spotted lake. Exactly. It took longer to push the boat than it did to get the diamond. <laughs> I think I know why the person said it. I'm pretty sure the person that made the comment, I removed it now, but I'm pretty sure the person that made the comment was one of the ones that used to get mad uh, because they were they would trade for diamonds and stuff on the hunter. And I think that, yeah, they would trade. Instead of going out hunting and getting on their self, they'd trade. And... Uh, and I, I said that was a form of cheating, and I think they got... I think oh. that's why they said I was a cheater, because I think it was a little kid that did it. I removed the comment, but... And then there was someone jealous of R. Lewis that talked bad about R. Lewis, and I, I deleted that comment. Yeah. Like, people just get jealous, man. That's when you know you're doing something right. I don't know if you talked to R. Lewis, man, but he's uh, he figured out everything about your little uh, top five thing, and he, he likes it. He's on board 100%, man. Oh, yeah, I figured he would be. Um, yeah, once he Well, ran, he's in he here. I, he, he was in here just a few minutes ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a diamond. Oh, diamond mirror cart. But, yeah, yeah I like, I just, I don't know why people have to like leave negative comments like that i i don't know like i don't take the time to even comment if i don't like something i just go on and find exactly. i just watch videos i like and i'm not going to take the time and write oh i didn't like this you know i might right. compliment somebody you know kind of a, if you ain't got something nice to say don't say it at all you know exactly what, what is unless it's point? some sort of constructive criticism you know that's different but Yeah, but not too many people do that constructively anymore. That's they what I was about really... ready to say, like with the emphasis <laughs> on constructive, you know. Right. Dylan, appreciate you, bud. Man, there is a huge, I'm pretty sure it's a it's a red breast, like swimming around right here, like right in front of us, real close here somewhere. Hope it comes back to you... bite. Well, if I disappear all of a sudden. It's because we got some thunderstorms going on, so just heads up. <laughs> Mike said, I thought you said destructive criticism. <laughs> yeah, that's what it usually is. Sent you a message on Discord. <laughs> All right, I'll look at it here. Oh, yeah, thanks, Arlos. No problem, bud. Yeah, I think R. Lewis is like uh, running away with the angler thing. I think what we're going to, one little, one other little change though. Well, not a change because we're just now coming up with this top angler thing. I think what we're going to do is do it by seasons. I think we'll run this, this leaderboard until June the 30th. And then starting July 1, we'll wipe everything off the leaderboards and start a new season. You mean like take everybody's catches down? Take them all off. Wipe, wipe the oh. slate clean June 30th. Start from scratch. I think it'd give oh, us something oh. else to do and we'll have a top angler each season. You know what I mean? You, well, yeah, I was to say, I was to see if you could have two, you know, two separate boards, like one for the year and then your, your seasonal one, but... Well, we could, we could, we could, we I could, mean, well, all you'd have to do is add up the four. Well, in this case, three, because we didn't do the first season, but I like that Every, idea of wiping the slate clean, especially if we all get to the point where we've caught all the diamonds and we're just needing something to do. I think that gives everybody something to do. And then when we wipe the slate clean and start on July 1st, it'd be like a fresh start, you know? Well, the only reason I'm saying that is because I don't know if three months is going to be long enough to get you something on every list. You know what I mean? Like, for especially four maps. That's true. 
That's a lot of fishing. Because I, I was going to bring up to you is is when when they pulled down all of our Lewis's records, I thought he was going to put back the ones that used to be there, and I noticed a few of mine aren't. And I didn't know if that was the plan or if it was just going to stay off. I was just I wanted to ask that because I, I wrote Del Boy about that, but he's on vacation, so. Not like your biggest fish should have been left on there. Well, it got taken. Remember when R. Lewis, like this is the, this is the example I'm giving. It's the only the one I really found for sure was the mirror carp on Spain. I had three of them on there, and I, you know, I only want one, obviously. But when uh, our our Lewis went crazy for carp for a while, man, and he got tons and tons of records, and all mine got knocked off. Right. When he cleared the slate the other day, the one that I had isn't on there, and there's three blank spots in that now. You know. Oh I mean? yeah. Like. like my one biggest one should have went back on there. That's going to be the problem is finding, going through and finding all well, those right. screenshots. I submitted, I, I put one back in there, but I didn't have both screens anymore. All I have is the, the, uh, the screen that shows the date and the time that you caught it. That's the only one I had a copy of anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if you can put it in there with that or not, but that was the one that uh, I had in there, but. Right. I was just asking about that because I wasn't sure. I thought yeah, there's probably going to be some that got lost in the process. Yeah. I figured. I mean, it's no big deal either way. I was just asking. Dropped a sub. Thank you so much, Akami. Appreciate that. I wonder how come it didn't show. How come the alert didn't? May have done it before the... Or uh, may have done it... Um, while not watching the live and it just didn't trigger an alert maybe oh that was a blue curper i was about to say man the, that fish you just pulled in look huge yeah <laughs> but it was a blue curper <laughs> here's another one i see right there swimming around that's the problem you just got to get lucky and catch a red breast see what do you what are you using right now i'm using bread bread eight bread yeah, they like eight bread. They like eight marshmallows. Hot dog. Is there anything that the red breast likes better than the blue? I, you know, honestly, I don't know because when I'm in this kind of situation, I got them biting on whatever I put in the water, both of them. Yeah. I didn't realize this, but apparently the blue curper really like jigging. Man, I was catching. I caught me a good size diamond earlier today. Jigging for him. See, that one's belly is red. It just turned up, and its belly is red. But we'll see. Yeah, that's a red wrist. Okay, go. there we go. That's your gold. <laughs> All right, one more, guys. Two point two one pound is gold. That has to be like one of the smallest golds. There we go, and we leveled to 114. What do you got left? You got one, right? Yes, the eel. So I'm looking. Ooh. Yeah, that's going to suck. 4.41 pounds bottom fishing rig. Yeah. But... What time of the day? It's 18th. Actually, those spots should be good right now for those things. Either at that dock or at that spot I showed you a little further up river. All right. What's our sizes here? Modeled eel. Number three to, to start with. All right, let's see what bait though. I think I got mine on red worm. All right, G man. Glad I could help you, bud. Uh, red worm, minnow. Wafters, I think. White wafters. I bet this is going to be fun uh, with carp. Is there anything that carp well, don't? The catfish are what's going to bother you over there more than anything. Them and the red nose and the purple nose will drive you up a wall in that river over there. 
A catfish is your most dangerous situation because of your line you're on. Me and I. Remember, that's what I, remember I was telling you about that 13-pound catfish I pulled in on that 4, 4, 441 line? Yeah. Oh my God, Hume family, crazy. how's it going, buddy? I think minnow's the way to go because at least that eliminates the carp. I mean, the only thing is, is you got yellow fish over there too that like uh, minnows. So we can try the red worm. Um, well, I mean, no, I'm just saying the carp. I don't really have an issue with over there, but like yellow. Where fish, are we saying over fish, there is that river? That river system to the east. Yeah. Or you know, uh, Fricky's Dock or whatever. Yeah, that whole area down there. That seems to be the best location for eel. Well, let's do this. I got my eel in the cave so it couldn't spool me. Which cave? That here. I'll, I'll fast track to it real quick. Uh, the one where you can catch a diamond? Yeah, the one that's on the northeast, the very northeast right there. All right, Lewis, I'm going after the modeled eel. It is my last challenge. It's Once I get this... <sighs> Last time I came here, though. I know. I've never had any luck in that cave, man. I never have. Silver was the best I ever did in that cave. Red worm. I wish there was a way to go on back in there or something. Yeah, I know, and it's, if you cast up, it's going to float all the way to the right. <clears throat> or is it a bottom rig for that? I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've fished for those things. Fish your boat. Out from here? Yeah. Ooh, that would be interesting. Push your boat and see how far back in there it goes. Man, you know where you would have to push a boat from? I know, but <laughs> you actually, you could ride it down here. Well, isn't there like a bunch of rocks and water? There is, but I rode a boat all the way down into here. Did you? Yes, I did. Uh, the first time I ever uh, got over in here, it's rough. But a person yeah, could summon rough. a boat down to about right here. I don't know how steep that is. And then push it up in here and see how far back in there it goes. Well, that's, it's a little. Steep, oh, R. Lewis says it. Mean. He's seen it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start oh, out. To I'm going to start out catching small eel and cause them to spawn in. There you go. I wish you the best of luck in there. I never had any. That was the first place I saw an eel caught for a diamond. Uh -oh, I'm getting a bite right now. Well, I was. There we go. What's up, Ryder? How you doing, buddy? This is our last gear challenge, too. And then we can target whatever dimes we want to go for. Yeah, I've been having fun today doing that. Just picking one on the list that I'm not on. And then Dude, going this is going to be so on. hard to get. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Four pound line and a 4.86 is bronze. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it's a fun one. <laughs> Catfish gear challenge. I've tried the lake spot. It took all my line. Um, use braided line. Uh oh, I was going to show you, but use braided line and let me get this one in. Uh, Hume, and I will show you where I got mine. Actually, Hume, 
that video is out right now. It just came out. <laughs> It, oh, came, yeah. it came out about an hour ago. I have the guide that has the shark tooth catfish in it. Um, where's that at? I'll drop that link in there. It's got three other fish in the guide with it as well. Seems like... Here you go. Man, you leave this dock, man, and, and I ain't get a bite since you left. <laughs> right there you go. That's got a guide on it. But right here's where I got it. But that's got three other fish in with it. But I got it right here at this spot. Right here. Just to the, uh, from Sunrise Country Club, about two o'clock. Right there. What's up, Cowboy Killer? How you doing, bud? But yeah, that video right there just came out. That's got um, four gear two challenges in it. It's got catfish, common carp, spotted bass, and tiger fish. That one does. Well, we're catching plenty you of the bronze. You, hey, when you caught your canary last night, were you standing in the grass where uh, Crash was earlier nope. yesterday? Nope. I was standing on the little boat dock, but I was able to cast at Crash's feet, though. Oh, okay. Yeah, where, I, where I've been standing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I really don't think it matters where you stand. I was... Well, you know what I mean? I don't know, because... Yeah, I've just... I've seen them caught everywhere in this thing, you know, but I've never got one out of this pond, so... I'd like to get a bigger one because Rock and on Randall, that. how's it going, bud? I don't know if the temperatures are right right now or not. Well, for a gold, I don't think it matters. I think a gold well, will bite. Oh yeah, you're you're good. I, I'm trying for a dime canary. Oh. There's a 6.33 pound silver. Yeah. At what point do they go gold? Gosh, I can't remember. That's something I wish they would implement too, is you could click on your eel and see your biggest bronze, biggest silver, biggest gold, biggest diamond, you know, like give you that list instead of just replacing it completely and you never remember what you used to have. Right. Mike says eight or nine. There's one thing about it, using the five hook, I'm definitely getting a lot of bites, but they're bronzes. But I think we just slay it with numbers. Eventually a gold will spawn in here, I think. I think I did my gold eel channels with a three hook. Was, I think that's silvering up, maybe. I can't remember. Seems like yeah, well, cool. when I throw the silver hook in here, just about every time, I never get a bite. Yeah. 9.52 gold, Mike? Please tell me that was a gold. <laughs> Man, this is going to be a fight when I hook into a gold. You know, I didn't find the eel fight that hard. I mean, I mean, it was like every other gold challenge. You know, they run lion on you and all that, but it wasn't like really bad. It wasn't like the yellowfish. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know which yellowfish you're talking. The small mouth. You know, when you had all the big stuff around you and just yeah, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't find it that bad. I, matter of fact, I found the diamond or red nose that I caught trying to do the eel challenge harder than the actual eel was. Yeah. And it's smaller, a lot smaller. You know what I think my first dime I'm going to target that I don't have? That mogul. Oh, yeah. But I'm putting big gear on when I do it. Uh-oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, I got my set. Uh oh. You got it already? Maybe. <laughs> Man. Yeah. Diamond hunting real soon, then. Uh oh. Give me oh, my line great. back. Catfish. Oh, kicking wings are probably right. Oh, that's right. They are in there, aren't they? Probably a catfish. I didn't know they were in here. Yeah, I went in there a while back, man, and I just had no luck. I mean, I was getting small silvers, and I just gave up, never went back. Forgot about the catfish in there. Well, if it's a big catfish, we're going to like get a record score. Because we're on four <laughs> pound line. <laughs> well, their bronzes get pretty big. That one I had was 13.88 pounds. <laughs> and it fought like nothing I've ever fought before. On that four pound line, anyway. What if this is a 15 pound diamond eel? That would be nice. <laughs> That would be very impressive. How many dimes did you get on a small line now? You're up to five? Uh, we'll have to look at them. I know four for sure. The canary was on small line. Right. You got two carps on small line. Grass carp, mirror carp. Bass, small mouth bass, didn't you? Spotted bass was on small line. Spotted bass. I like stir crazy. I like the way you think. It's a diamond eel. All you catfish lovers can bite me. <laughs> Thank you, G man. Thanks for the support. We may not ever find out because I'm gonna get too aggressive here in a minute and not pay attention. Snap. Yeah, that's a big one, whatever it is, because, man, and it gets all erratic like that. You know, it's got a good size to it. And by big, we mean 10 pounds plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully you're at least at 12, because then not that round diamond on these things, like 12 pounds, something like that? Uh, might be. I think, they, I think they go diamond somewhere in that area anyways. Yeah, it's probably a catfish. But you know, at this point, it's personal. Yeah, I know. That's how I built. Now, is there carp in this? Because maybe I can find something that eliminates if there's no carp in here. Didn't fish it long enough to be able to answer that, man. I, I, I do remember since they brought that up, the catfish being in there. I did catch a couple small catfish, but... I don't remember carp. G-Man says no carp. Stir crazy. The only reason I'm not being spooled is because I'm in the cave and there's not enough room for it to spool me. That's the reason I'm fishing in here. It's running into the wall. It's not able to spool me. It is a good location to do the gold challenge. There's not carp in here. Maybe I find something that just eliminates the catfish. And I... That's going to be hard to do. Those things eat everything, too. Oh! Somebody just got a diamond eel. We're right here where we're at? I'm not sure. I just saw the... All I saw was diamond eel. I didn't catch anything else. Nope. 
Jim paid 51. Oh, God, who is this? That, yeah, James. Okay. I was sitting there going, man, that sounds familiar. He's got, he got it at uh, Fricky's Dock. I just saw that name and I was like, I know I recognize it. Well, who, who got the diamond? James did. Where, James the, or, where are they at? Fricky's Dock or Freaky or whatever it's called. Those bites stopped all of a sudden. Nice, James. Congratulations, bud. Oh man, I had it almost reeled in and here it goes again. Yeah, I'm leaning I'm leaning catfish. <laughs> Not trying to jinx you, but I'd like to see it. It's a catfish. It's a 9.93 .9 pound catfish. <laughs> Seven minutes. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we don't think there's carp in here. All right. So let me look at the catfish here. Goodness gracious. I'm going to take a picture of this. That was a heck of a fight, huh? Well, I'm taking a picture to see what bait I can eliminate. Now I'm going to look at the eel. All right. Goodness gracious. Is there anything they don't eat? Yeah, that's a tough one on that. You know, white wafters, eggs, leeches. Eggs. Oh, Leeches. Leeches? Ah, uh, leeches is on there. Liver. Hell, it's regular. Yeah. Blood worm, hot dog. Blood worm. Blood worm, blood worm, blood worm. Blood worm. Well, there you go. Artificial size corn. seven hook. Go for it. Imitation dog biscuits. All right, blood worm it is. Johnny Crobo, how's it, how's it going, buddy? Hey, I'm on four pound line, Johnny. Fight me. <laughs> I took a break because it was such a headache. Multiplayer has been doing a lot better. Wouldn't you all say? I would. I'm still crashing, though, but as far as the craziness in multiplayer, it hasn't been that bad. Yeah. Boat noises. And I've not heard stuff, the boat no. noises. Yeah. No. Austin Rowe, been... how's it going? Good day for Kentucky basketball, buddy. Hope you weren't a Calipari fan. This might be the wrong time of day because I'm not getting a bite.
Oh, you're a Calipari fan? I'm sorry, man. Like, he did good when he first got there. But with the transfer portal and his NIL deals and everything now, he has a method of just recruiting the best players and putting them on the same team and just rolling a ball out there. That doesn't work anymore. Yeah. Look at UConn. Is it like... Um, I saw a stat the other day. Let me... Oh, God. Let me show you all this uh, this stat. Um, if I can find it. Let's see. Okay. NCAA... NCAA Tournament Elite Eight. Now, so this is from the Elite Eight. All right. 24 seniors, four juniors, 10 sophomores, two freshmen, 18 transfers, 16 fifth year players, 12 of the top 13 scorers in the Elite Eight are seniors. So that right there speaks of itself. You want age. You want experienced players. You have to know how to work that transfer portal. Get you a couple of McDonald's All-American freshmen and then fill the rest of your team up with experienced players and hit that transfer portal. That's how you coach now. And Calipari don't know how to do it. Calipari would rather, instead of having the experienced player that keeps the team together, you know, instead of having that, he wants to see how many NBA players he can get to go to the NBA. How many players he can get in the NBA. That's the only thing he cares about. We don't care about winning. He wants to see how many he can get in the NBA every year. That's my personal opinion. 20th diamond spotted bass today, and my biggest was 11.21. Nice, dude. Sweet 16 only had three freshmen start. That's what I'm saying. Like, the game has passed him by, you know? What are you catching yours on, Johnny? You know what? It don't even matter because I'm having to use the four pound line. So I probably can't use what you're using anyway. Thanks so much, Gaz. Size six red worm, yeah. I just can't get the catfish to leave me alone. Michelle Ann Gaming has gone. What rod, reel, and line do you think is best for common carp? Are you doing a challenge or are you just wanting to catch a diamond? Why do they park our boat so far from the dock? Jeez. Yeah, Just wanting to catch a dime? Oh, throw you a, a Citro Del Rey bottom feeder line. Uh, 60 pound, um, 60 pound braided with the Tiff Talker level 90 reel. <clears throat> That's your best setup for a those big fish like that. You get the 60 pound braided gives you more line so you don't get spooled. No problem.
Did I mention I don't like this cave? I don't know. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Well, I'm with you on that one. Johnny Crowbro, nice mustache, man. I'm gonna catch a diamond eel now. Well, I mean, go ahead. I'm using four pound line, so come at me, bro. <laughs> Do your worst, huh? Ah, my goal here is to catch the smallest gold there is out there on this four pound line. So I get it in and get this challenge over with. Man. YouTube does not like me tonight because I have been kicked like six times. James, you ought to think about throwing a four on there because there are also diamond red nose right there and you'll get them on a four. That's using a, a three hook for eel. I don't blame you, James, for using a three hook for eel. And I most definitely would too if I wasn't using a four pound line. Because the only way to eliminate the big fish in this cave is to use a blood worm and seven as is as big as I can go. For the blood worm. If I go with a three red worm, for example, I'm just going to hook into another catfish and it's either going to snap my line or I'm going to fight seven minutes with a bronze. So no thank you. Don't want to be doing that. Yesterday I was pulling up silvers. What are size 10 frog that was... What are size 10 frog that was surprising? You're pulling up silvers with a size 10 frog? Of what type of fish? Only caught one catfish here. Well, I caught I caught one while ago too, and it was a seven minute fight. Yes, <laughs> and I don't want to hook into another one. Purpers. Nice. Come on, feel the noise. I'm going to be looking at other spots. Nice, James.
Uh oh. There you go. I don't think it's a gold, but it's probably my biggest one. Well, maybe you get lucky and that's a real small gold. Oh, it would be sweet. It's a six oh. point <laughs> oh two. Yeah, me too, James. <laughs> I couldn't get anything better than the silver out of that cave. Haven't been back since. Isn't that the dock for the gold eel challenge? Location challenge? Or uh, silver, I mean? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 60% drag and it's still taking. Oh, it's running line? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's got possibilities. Yes, it does. It's going to be a personal best eel. I don't know if it's going to be a goad, but. I don't know. You know what's you know what I think's fun to fish for is those large mouth and small mouth yellowfish. Yeah. I, I really do enjoy both of those. Got another diamond of the largemouth earlier. Still wasn't big though. Not How big old oh boy are you? Oh, it's a silver. <sighs> Man. So, anywho, That's an eel spot. Yeah, that's an eel spot too. And where I'm sitting right now is an eel spot. There too. 
Yep. And there. I haven't got one there. So we'll check that out. I'm going to check that out because I'm not getting anything to fight here right now. I thought we had it on that last one. You probably weren't very far off gold with that, too. Yeah, I know. 7.63 no what 7.63 pound is my record Less gambling is way up there. Nine point eight six. So you don't have a dime either. Maybe you would if you didn't have twenty spotted eel diamonds. <laughs> yeah, get some variety, Johnny. <laughs> Look here at Jim Pay. Why don't you just rub it in my face? Did he just catch another one? 9.87. Oh, yeah, you got a gold. Okay. <laughs> Thought he caught another dime. <laughs> I'm about tempted to change spots here. And as soon as you do, Johnny's are pulling a gold right next to you. <laughs> Johnny's not using 4.4 one pound line either, so I don't want to hear it. No. He's not. <laughs> and just think, one left, and then you don't have to worry about that no more. I know. I don't know what I don't I Oh, let's hope. Let's just hope something don't buy the end of this. When did you go to? I went to a three minnow. You're at the dock. Yep. Give me the bad news. Yellowfish. <laughs> uh, probably catfish. Well, the only way. Here's what I'm doing though. If I put a seven blood worm, you know what's going to bite. <clears throat> the carper will, or the labeo will, wear me out. Yeah, I think it will too. Anyway. I don't. I, mean, I, I don't know how you avoid something not aggravating the crap out of you here. Well, bloodworm, I don't see it on the red nose. And I don't see it on the purple either. They're red worm, but they don't have bloodworm on them. Let's see what the smallmouth yellow looks like. Oh, it's got bloodworm on it, though. <laughs> yeah, smallmouth yellow fish go for the bloodworm. How far out there are you casting for the 
deal here. Got me a silver eel. At 72 degrees. Where is it? Ooh, that's good water temps too. All right. What are the water temps for eel? The low is like 72.5 and I didn't catch the high, but that I was right at 72.5 just now. What about the rave cave? Can you catch the eel in there? I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember ever seeing one caught there. Here we go. Well, at least whatever uh -oh. this is isn't spooling me. I got a catfish this time. There's a bronze. I caught a bronze. Oh, on a five. Okay, never mind. Fifty subscribers away from a twelve-hour celebration stream, guys. This one's taking a little bit of line. Dang. I just got back to back catfishes. Uh oh, I'm on a cat with 22 pound line. Uh, try 4.41 pound line. I don't want to hear it, Johnny. pound silver ah uh. I didn't even see it on the screen how big was that one? Yeah, about a six and a half pounder oh well at least you caught an eel Keep catching those. Bound to get one to spawn in. I have a feeling this is going to be the one. One that hangs me up for a while. Look at that. Yeah. 980 rep. Yeah, it's like getting that last diamond for bingo. <laughs> They're always hard to do. Good news right, is got... it's probably an eel. Bad news is it's not going to be a gold eel. About the same as that last one. About six and a half pounder.
increasing your chances of a gold spawning. I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> well, have you got you a big uh, one? No, I just crashed. Oh. Changing my bait and I crashed. That first day of the update, man, I had a great day. No crashes, nothing. But after that, every day. 6.64 pound eel. Well, at least I'm catching eel here. Now I got to go turn multiplayer back on, which is always fun. Oh, because it automatically turns it off on PlayStation, doesn't it? Yeah. And you know what's funny? The first day after the uh, update, I didn't have to turn it on. Like that first time, I didn't have to turn <laughs> on multiplayer. But ever since then, I do. I thought they had changed it back to the way it used to be, but nope. Well, they got a yellowfish where I'm at, that's for sure. Ghosted, how's it going, bud? Anything good? We caught the gold red breast curper for the gear challenge too. We are down to the this is my last one. I have nine hundred and eighty rep. So we're trying to catch the gold African modeled eel. We got close a while ago. Would y'all say eight pounds gonna be gold? I would be willing to bet that's really close if not. We got close. So you, I think. Had, what, that eight, you had a seven something? Yeah, I had, I had like a seven something. Yeah. I would imagine that eight, that's probably right on or really close. It would make sense to double the weight of the line. You know, seven, six, anyway. three. Seven point six three was yours? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man, you always draw a crowd. <laughs> Are you able to get back in? I'm in. I just haven't synced up with you yet. I think my time's still... No, I guess my time's back where it was. I just haven't synced with you. For some reason, whoever you join on takes the longest to sync with. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. I guess I could have joined on Johnny or somebody. Bunch of people in here right now. Yeah, I'm up at that spot up north of you. I know about everybody in here. That's what I'm saying. You've got a crowd around you right now. You saw the names. <laughs> yeah, I just synced with Johnny. And kicking wing. I think this is a cat.
Is there a gold challenge for smallmouth bass? Yes. That was one of the few that I got a diamond on my small line with. Hey, Johnny, you're the math whiz. Using the Tyro reel on the 4.4 one pound line, how much line am I going to have? I'm sitting at 221 right now. I can't remember what reel I used, but I'm that's the fish I ran out to 328 feet when I had the 441 line doing the gold challenge and I caught that catfish. It bounced off of 328 and then it finally wore itself out and I was able to get it in. But I don't know if I had the same reel as you. 330? So you're telling me there's a chance. I would imagine it would be pretty similar to the setup I had. This is this gotta be a catfish. What stinks is is you gotta get it in to know for sure, you know, and it might be your gold. I know. Heck, it might be a diamond. <laughs> Caught a bunch of those on that light line. Nice notes, uh, Ornricker. James Payne. I was here first. I claim in my spot. <laughs> He's peed all over the ground. <laughs> Two hundred and sixty two feet with fluoro. Well, yeah, I mean it's fluoro, it's four point four one. They don't make braided for that. I'm on the Tyro reel though. Six pound cat. What I'm predicting. Maybe an eight pound cat. Line snapped. We'll never know. Oh no. After I had it already uh, worn out. No Man. approximate location on that bass challenge. You said gold. I thought you said gold bass challenge. Yeah, the gold gear challenge, right? There's gold gear challenges. There are no gold location challenges. Until next time. That was a catfish. I mean, like, all the location challenges are right here. Wait, wrong one. Right here. So, smallmouth is number one. So, one of those smallmouth is up here, right there, is one. 
the other small mouth is looks like right here James Lynch, I caught my gold eel up north by the eel location challenge in 30 foot depth. Yeah, that dock we were talking about up there, huh? You know, kind of off the dock a little bit. Oh, this one up here? Yeah, that bend, in, you know, where the river turns to go towards the yellow. There's a dock up there that you got to kind of go away from the dock to do the challenge right kind of where that marker is as a matter of fact i mean not exactly but it's in that area yeah i hate that we have to would have to drive all the way up there in a boat just to hang on I'm just going to push the issue here. It can snap it early if it wants to. That's a long time between bites. But it's probably an eel. Small one, but an eel. Just go ahead and snap it. Thank you. Yeah, 262 is accurate. Yep, that's right. I did it. I did that for you, Johnny. My gold <laughs> weight is <laughs> Louisville has like a satire site that says breaking news Kenny Payne has been hired as the new head coach for the University of Kentucky and it comes with his own personal private, private parking space this is a developing story <laughs>
I wonder how much five pound. <laughs> Only you would ask that, Johnny Crow. Won't you find out? Johnny Crow bro will have a seventy pound uh, grass carp <laughs> on the true mediator across the world against the bank. <laughs> 700 feet out. <laughs> Seven, 739 feet against the bank, just waiting, biding his time. <laughs> 17 hours later with a score of 7 million. At 30 feet seems to be the, the the right depth, though. Seems like every time I land around 30 feet, I get bites pretty quickly. Yeah, it's generally in that area. I think I was at probably 30 to 40, somewhere in there. Because I cast straight off the, the right side of that dock is where I did mine. Oh, that's looking more promising. Oh, this fish? I mean, it looks a lot lighter for sure, but... Six pounds. It doesn't act like a catfish. Oh, no, it's six pounds tops. It's an eel. Oh, come on. Well, either I got a massive diamond eel or I got a catfish. Six point four three. All right, I'm going to risk moving up to a four hook. Now, yeah. catfish. Let's switch back. Here we go. Getting about already. Ah, crap. What, running line real hard? Yep. on that being a catfish the way that's running yep it's <laughs> johnny's still doing the math on that <laughs> my, it makes my brain hurt johnny stop it I saw you left the reserve. Who, oh, me? No, Johnny did. He just left our... Uh, yeah, he's going server. to GRR to find him a wide lake to see how... <laughs> he's probably going to go test it. To see how far he can get spooled. <laughs> Line snap. Oops. Oops. 
Yes, Tyler Harrod, we are getting a new coach, buddy. The next couple days are going to be exciting. I mean, I hope we get Danny Hurley, but if I'm him, I'm not leaving UConn. But money talks, you know? Smallmouth yellowfish, yay. I'm going to go out on a limb and say Nate Oates ends up with it. He won't be the first person they ask. I just think other people will turn it down. Danny Hurley will turn it down. Uh, Billy Donovan will probably turn it down. Jay Wright will turn it down. Brad Stevens will turn it down. Then I think they go to Nate Oates. Nate Oates went to the Final Four with Alabama this year. Plays the run and gun style that's exciting to watch. Another six pounder. Oh, God, what the heck? Oh, tiger fish. That's right. I forgot. That's why I never use minnow over here. So you're thinking, what does quick strike over here? And it's the tiger fish. Will these things keep biting during the daytime? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen a few people catch big diamonds in the middle of the day. Oh, Tyler, I already had one on, buddy. Ha-ha. Don't work when you've already got one hooked, bud. <laughs> Was you in here when Mike got me perfectly the other day, though? so crazy <laughs> god dang it all right i gotta get the minnow off so mike got me the other day tyler i was bottom fishing like this and i was getting a nibble so he started the strike alert. He pushed the button before I got the nibble. So he got lucky. And I got a nibble just like I just now got. And then the strike sound went off and I jerked and I missed the fish. And I thought we were going to have to give Mike CPR. I don't, I don't know. I didn't know if he was going to stop laughing or not. <laughs> <laughs> look look here Mike Mike type steel in exclamation point, or, uh, capital letters <laughs> uh. <laughs> do you want to switch places Darth what do you mean why are you catching a bunch of gold somewhere I think he's standing right next to you isn't he I don't know He's Why? probably casting off the right side of the dock where I was telling you that's where I caught all of those. And be face downstream. Oh, now I'm I'm happy here. 
I'm fine here. Tyler, thank you so much for the hundred biddies, bud. Six point seven nine. <laughs> he did try it. You see that dark? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go up to a three hook. <laughs> yeah, that should have been more on there, shouldn't it? Thanks, Tyler. Another 145 biddies. What'd that put me up to? Uh-oh, we're getting dangerously close to bean time. I know I read somewhere today, I don't know how true it was, but I read somewhere today that Billy Donovan was expre has expressed interest in the UK. Job. And he used to be an assistant for Patino, so before he left to go to Florida, where he won back to back national championships. Tyler, another two hundred forty five biddies. I think that is main time. I just get a bite. Oh crap, I did. Uh oh, let's see what this is. Too big. And that is bean time. I ain't gonna waste too much time on this. Go ahead and snap if you want to. Where's Donovan been lately? In the NBA. Not coaching, but doing something in the NBA. He's like in an executive office or something. Let me um, spin the wheel and see what kind of bean we're eating here, bud. We, that put us at 1260 once dead fish or strawberry banana mm, just my favorite dead fish <laughs> oh good lord mm. oh god <laughs> I take it you got the dead fish, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. Ew. Megzatron, good afternoon. Working on my last outpost challenges for GRR. I got that dead fish stuck to my tooth. It just keeps on giving. I feel like we're not going to catch as many now that it's daytime. Oh, 
530. Can't oh. wait to start Africa. Oh, it's fun. I don't know, man. I still see people catching them. I'm not catching any right now, but I keep seeing them caught. I've also moved up to a bigger hook size, so. All right, James Lynch. Good deal. I've got enough for the third one, and if I can catch this one, I'll have them all. Spain. This is the last one I need. African model to eel. What hook size did you go to? Three. James, what'd you catch that on over there? Three. I think he said three. Are you using red three worm? Minnow. What's he I using? I thought he said three minnow. Three minnow. I swear that's what he said. National championship is on tonight. It doesn't start till 920, bro. I'm telling you right now, Tyler, you better be rooting for Purdue to win that game. Because if there is any chance at all to snag Danny Hurley, it's if they don't win. If 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 UConn wins the championship tonight, Kentucky has zero chance of getting him. Zero chance. Oh, he said he did it with up by the location challenge up at that dock we were talking about with the three minnow. If. Hey, big 80s tough to stop there in the paint, bud. But UConn does have a big seven foot something guy that might be able to say something. About that too. Be a good matchup, I think. I just want a good cut. That's one I I want. I want uh Yeah, you're right, Mike, but you know how college basketball is any given night, you know. Set Purdue on a good night, Purdue can beat them. I think UConn wins it, and I think that when they do, UConn's athletic director and stuff, they he ain't stupid. He knows Kentucky's going to be coming after Danny Hurley. And here you got a guy that's just won you two back-to-back -back championships, so they're going to offer him a sweet deal to stay right where he's at. So, I, you know, I'm just saying if there's any chance at all of stealing Danny Hurley away from UConn, they have to lose tonight. Vegas, Darrier, thank you so much for the follow. Man, I have stopped getting bites. Yeah, I did too. I'm going back for the canary. I'm going to go I back in this cave.
Go over here and fish with those armpits, boys. Thank you so much, Vegas. I appreciate that, man. I appreciate it. Because you know what? There's always that one negative person out there, and they it just seems like those are the ones, those comments are the ones that just, they're louder, you know? So I love hearing the positive comments. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Three red worm. Well, here's a three minnow. Just caught this one on. There's a six pound eel. Ready for NC to be back in the champ. North Carolina. be going to North Carolina in about a month about a month be going to the Banner Elk area Jamie Cog killer what I did on that is I don't think I had a single silver in that little pond what's the name of that little pond the cradle of life. Oh yeah. Right over here. I'll have a video coming out about this soon, but right here in this little lake, you can fast travel right there. Cradle of mankind. Um, I just stood right there and I didn't have a single silver. So I just put on a bronze hook and kept catching bronzes until I forced them to start spawning in. And I, then I moved hook sizes up and eventually I got that gold to spawn. Yeah. And Stevie B got a dime right beside me there. No, I'm not doing fishing. Uh, me and my wife love that area. The the Boone, Blowing Rock, Banner Elk, Sugar Mountain, Beach Mountain, that whole area right through there, Grandfather Mountain. We just love that area. We we tend to go there uh, for our anniversary every year. And I've never stayed in Banner Elk. We usually stay in Boone or Blowing Rock. But Banner Elk looks real pretty, so I think I'm, we're going to stay in uh, Banner Elk this time. There's a 20-foot hole to your right where those rocks are coming out right in the corner. Is that a good place to cast? I noticed it was 17 foot there earlier. I seem like my bobber kept going into the wall over there, though, because it always wants to drift to that side. Can't, it seems like I lost my bobber in the wall over there somewhere. Megzatron, thanks so much for the follow. I appreciate that. I was just in Boone. I love all the Western NC. Did my vacation in Cherokee. 
Yeah, I love that. What is that? General Mast store or something? Um, I like that. Um, What's that pizza place? Mellow Mushroom pizza place there. Oh, that's right. You're on the bottom rig. I keep thinking you're on a float rig. Uh, Jimmy Cog Killer, that is a new with the last update a couple weeks ago, bud. Your float will now uh, drift. I don't know why I keep saying that. I keep forgetting you're on a bottom rig. Without Devil's Advocate, do you have any advice for me? <laughs> Get Devil's Advocate. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, do you have Troll Spore it? You could get close to the devil's advocate by getting that rod and reel mission done there. On Tro Sport. The hunt and the The Hunt is the real. I can't remember what the name of the rod is. That Not me neither. That gets the Stalin or something like that. Stalo. Stalo. Stalo yeah. and Hund, though, I think that's about five pounds less than the Devil's Advocate. That would be your next best. I caught Big Larry on that. It was a fight, but I caught him on it. Yeah, I got you, Jamie. Appalachian Mountain Brewery in Boone is a good stop. Well, I don't... Is it a restaurant? Because I don't drink. What do you normally use as equipment if you are not doing challenges? Um... That's a good question. Like for the big fish, I'm using the level 90 Tiff Talker reel and the 100 rod if I'm float fishing. If I'm bottom fishing, I'm using the Citral Del Ray and the Tiff Talker uh, if I'm bottom fishing. That's for the big fish, of course, you know. And then I'm using like the big bait caster the Grower X or however you say that. 110 pound rod with the big old bait caster reel on it if I'm lure fishing. That's for big fish. But now um, I like to go, I really like that African uh, rod and reel as well. The that 20, is a good setup. The 27 like pound that. rod and reel for the Africa, for the middle of the road fish. I like it. Yeah, that's a good setup. Yeah. And the um, uh, I like it better than the Norway reel. Right. I like to be prepared, you know. Rarely ever am I out with like a little light pole for fear of hooking into something that might be a diamond that might break me off. <laughs> me too. I've bought multiple true mediators and the tip talk or whatever it's called. I've got like four or five of those. Yeah. I got them on all my stuff. 
the S Vogel. Well, I'll just tell you too. I, I like that one right there too for the 22 pound line on it. The the red desk bring garden. <laughs> Say that again in English. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, buddy, catch a live stream. I'm usually on. I'm usually on at this time, Monday through Thursday. Well, Tuesdays I'll be on a little later because of Tackle Tuesday, but usually go on about eight. But usually I'm on at this time, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, usually I don't stream on Fridays. Saturdays I stream sometimes when I'm not busy doing real life stuff. I usually have a food truck out with pizza and other food, just a cool place. Oh, okay. Man, I have stopped getting bites. Hey, speaking of Tackle Tuesday, you guys ever figure out what you're gonna do? Nah. Put solution on its skin and that's what it's towed. All right, Jamie. See you, bud. Dang it. I was wanting to get this one done. How's it going, Uncle Bones? Johnny Crowbro says two team comp undecided on what fish. So it's me and Doan against <laughs> everybody else. Me and Doan and Pro XCK and uh, and if we're going to do spotted bass, I want Johnny on my team. <laughs> I think that sounds fair. <laughs> the the four four man team and spotted bass. Me, Johnny, Pro XCK, and uh, Doan sounds fair to me. <laughs> oh, man, come on. Come on. About to hit level 100 on Call of the Wild and the Angler. Well, congratulations on your last piece of meaningful gear in the game <laughs> 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 the Power Nexus. Disappointment from here out. <laughs> well, as far as getting equipment. <laughs> man, I can't get a bite now. Man, no wonder my tackle box is so full. I keep forgetting I got two of a bunch of different hooks. I got two sevens, two eights, two sixes, two fives. I was wondering why I was so packed all the time. I know what you meant, Johnny. Uh-oh, now I'm getting a bite. Give me my worthless bronze eel. Oh, 
Well, you called that one, didn't you? <laughs> I sure did. <laughs> eh. This morning, I nailed a couple of diamond burbot on GRR. <laughs> nice. That's not an easy one to get. I feel like minor accident no. usually when I get them. <laughs> Seriously. I I think I got one targeting them. I found a spot right by the black crappie over in that one lake in the south. And uh, I decided to jig for them. And sure enough, I ended up getting one. Only one that I got, though, that was on purpose. Oh. Same with the catfish, as a matter of fact. Vegas, it, it really depends on the fish. Like... I don't have like a one size fits all set up. I just, you know, I like to use like a 22 pound setup and like a, then big fish set up. Yeah, I do a 27, whatever that is, 2756. That's my that's my medium range stuff. And then my big ones are the biggest that we got. This actually could be a decent one here. I'm on 60% drag and it's taking line. But it's not Ooh. taking line like a catfish would. Yeah, you know? catfish really goes crazy. Hey, I hope you get it, man. That's a, a lot of time spent on this one. Well, you know, here's the reason why I don't know the names, Vegas. And this is the biggest piece of advice I can get you. I don't even look at the names. I look at max line strength when I look at a pole. So that's, you know, I, that's that's all I care about. I look at the max line strength on a pole and that tells me the biggest line that I can put on that pole. Yeah, this does look promising. Be the one. Oh no. 7.6. Man. Like when you're looking at a rod, See, max line strength, 22.05. That's what I'm looking at. Not the 48.5 where it says strength. I don't even care what that is. The max line strength, that is the biggest line that I can put on that. So that's so I, that tells me that when I look at my fish and I know what, you know, what goes up to like 22 pound, I, I can put that size line on that rod. On this power nexus, look at the max line strength there, 55.12. That's the biggest floating setup that you can have with that rod. Now, here's the African rod, max line strength 27.56. Here's max line strength 15.43. So, see, I don't even care really what the name of the rod is. I'm looking at max line strength. That's what's important when you're looking at rods. And then the reels that you put on them, you're looking at max drag, right? So I want to match that for the best possible setup. You know, there's actually a DLC reel out there. Neither one of those reels actually go good with that, but I'm doing these missions. So anyway, there's a reel out there with 22 pound max line strength I could put on there match it if I wanted to uh, but that's the important thing is that max line strength I thought we had it Africa being out 
been only out for one week and six days. Oh. I'm sitting here going like, why are you telling me this? <laughs> You're talking to James Payne. Oh, okay. Took me three weeks to catch it. Early access or what? Um, Might have just felt like three weeks. <laughs> I don't know. Did you get early access, James Payne? It probably just felt like. Well, they're biting again. I think the problem was I just didn't have any silvers in here. So I'm having to catch these bronzes, hoping that they spawn in bigger. At least we got that challenge done. Did I do all of our weeklies? We need three more golds. That's not going to happen. Yep, got all the weeklies done. Got another bite, though. the music been off I just noticed that oh give me my gold eel James Lynch, gold temp was 72.6. It doesn't matter for golds. The temperature only matters for diamonds. Come on. I would like to catch a diamond. I just don't want to catch one on four pound line. Come on, it's not that bad. It's actually 4.41 line. Oh, my bad. <laughs> totally left out that 0.41. I'm just thinking of that nine pound catfish I fought for seven minutes. <laughs> yeah, I feel your pain on that one for sure. And I want to fish at spot number five in Discord, but I don't want to drive a boat all the way up there. Yeah, to that. I wish they'd have a fast travel. There needs to be one to fast travel point put right in the middle there. Yeah, maybe on that island, you know? That yeah, that'd be great. Look here. Les is a Sith Lord. Let's see if I've got that. Where's that at? Oh, shoot. I don't know if I can. It's still going to work.
Nope. I need a button for it. Gamble all. Time to be six thirty. Hmm. At least let me. At least let me play it one time. Where's it at? Here we go. Why you gotta be so small all the time? Yeah, I'm just... The wafters work well in the cave. I just started using them. Hey, this red worm's working great. I keep getting bites. Wow, that waterfall was loud. Now, I don't want to go bigger hook size glasser. How long are you streaming tonight? Um, I don't know. Not too much longer, actually. That's why I was just curious. I know you've been on for quite a while now.
Here we go. SWP, how's it going? You can go a bigger hook size on wafters. Les says I'll give it a try in a day or two. Maybe I should use a a bait. This might be wow. a silver, maybe. Silver, 5.78. Let's go. No, oh, I didn't get I dog on it. All right. I gotta try my new Vader thing. Hopefully this works. Did it type it in chat? Rise Sith Lord and destroy your enemies. It did in YouTube. Now I gotta put it in the Twitch. See, I can hit a button and it'll type that in Twitch chat too at the same time. Oh, that's cool. I did that while I was sitting here with my hook in the line. That stream deck's awesome once you learn how to do it. And then there's another one, this one, for when everybody gambles all their money away. silver do you not do mod points anymore um in discord tyler um i put because none of my a lot of my mods are not showing up anymore so i'm doing 500 points at a time when you show up to mod because the modding is supposed to be like helping delete messages and here lately i've been having people you know, putting stuff in chat and I've not had enough mods on to handle stuff. So I just give 500 points each time the mods actually show up instead of doing 10,000 points. And then some of my mods I never saw again. So I'm just doing it that way now. So I'll give you uh, 500 points right now. Yeah, I've got some mods I've not seen in months. So I figure when they show up, every time they show up, I'll just give them 500 points. If they never show up, then they don't get any points. You know, I struggled with the eel for two days there north of Freaky Spot, POI, up the river near the island and got a diamond. Hope you catch yours soon. Well, I'm not going for a diamond because I have to use this daggone four pound line. So once I get this challenge out of the way, then I'll... Oh, I hope this is an eel. 
We may have it. If this is an eel, we might have it. Could have it. Thanks, Glasher. I appreciate it, bud. Oh, I understand, Tyler. Yeah, I've got some mods, though, that I've not seen, and I couldn't tell you how many months, man. And, you know. What is this? What is this? Please be an eel. Oh. Mike, you've been with me the whole time, buddy. I appreciate you. Come on. Come on. You're building a house? You're building a house, like, for you and your fiance? Oh, man. Oh, no. It's 7.70. That's really got to be close. <sighs> Dang. Get another bite. Not that big, though. You remember trying to reach 100 followers on Twitch? Dang. Wow, that must have been a while ago, huh? Yeah. What are you at? 49.52 on YouTube? On YouTube, 49.52. On Twitch, 54.35. Uh-oh. We might have another chance at it. Come on. I got it on 60% drag. It's still taking line out. That's a good sign because it doesn't look like it's running hard enough to be a catfish. SWP, thanks for. Hey, that's Sherwin Williams paint. Do I know you? Oh, 7.4. Dang it. Spawn of gold. Right now, I want to see if this works and puts the message in. Twitch chat and YouTube chat. Let's see. And it showed up in YouTube. Oh, it showed up in both. Good, 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 good. It 
shaking tugboat. It's going good, bud. How are you doing? Now I just need to figure out how to... I'll be right back in a second. Beware. I don't know if you got any mods over here besides me, right? Nice and tired. I understand. They're trying to force us a goad spawn in here. I need to take that kick off from there. I'm not ever going to do anything. There's a six and a half pounder. All right, I'm back. Did you get it? Lord, no. <laughs> you know that dinosaur pond? I was waiting on you to get back to hook it. It's taken this much drag out at 60%, unless it's a catfish. Uh, I don't know. That's not that much, so it might be a gold. I mean, it's running, but it ain't running like those catfish do. Well. Yeah, it could be a catfish. Yeah, I guess it could. It is running pretty hard still. I've seen so many dimes caught in this dino pond here, man, and I just can't get anything, anything good to bite. I shouldn't say I've seen a lot. I've seen it probably three. Yeah, see, you've slowed it down. I'm starting to lean towards eel. I think it hit the wall. Oh, it did? Oh, okay. Well, it's still be a catfish then. I forgot about you. You ain't got very far to that wall. I mean, I would imagine it would act like this if I had a 15 pound diamond eel on. Yeah. Yeah, I would think so.
You got a diamond to eel last night? This is going to be a catfish. any on it it seems like when i do it just goes right back to the wall i mean i'm gaining right now but i don't know how long this is going to last yeah i'd be willing to cap it because that catfish did that to me too man i thought i was getting somewhere with it then it run another hundred feet out it did it for quite a while But if it is an eel, it's probably a diamond. I really don't think a gold would run like that. Well, I mean, I'll take diamond, but I don't. I'm with you, real hoss. I think this is a catfish. Yeah. Is today your birthday, Mike? Well, happy birthday, young man. Oh, okay. You are very creative. Catfish. Oh, you see it? Yeah. Bronze catfish. Well, at least we beat it in under five minutes this time. It's crazy. Good Lord, here it goes again. <laughs> the game does not like me to change my bait because that's the second time I've crashed on your stream when I go to change my bait. He's still in there. Let me join. Oh, yeah, I think he's still on your server.
No, I got my gold catfish. Um, James, it's in today's YouTube video, buddy. It's, I think it might even be the first one that I catch in the video. There's four different Goat Gear 2 challenges uh, in that video that come out today. I think the catfish is the first fish in it. I'll show you where I caught it, what bait I used, my setup, everything. This one does seem a little promising. But I'm going to say upper sevens. I'm on 55% drag. It's taking a little bit of line out. Yeah, I'm going to say heavy silver. I caught mine on a size eight, James. My canary, pretty sure. Gosh, so close. I got mine at seven. I don't even see it. I'm... Oh, doggone it. Um, what hook did I put on this thing? Oh, I didn't change the hook. Okay. Tyler, you... Y'all ain't gonna believe this. I actually jerked at Tyler's strike sound. <laughs> and I hooked the fish. I know y'all ain't gonna believe it, but I promise. <laughs> I was getting a bite and thank goodness it bit right when I did that. Because I looked over and I saw the strike sound. I was like, oh, crap, I've missed another one. Then I looked and I was actually reeling one in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I got mine on the seven hot dog, too. In fact, two in a row right at the main dock. YouTube does not like me tonight. All right, I'm going to try this one. See if this puts puts it in both chats. Yep. Sweet. Yeah, okay. That's what that was. I was wondering... What the stormtroopers shooting all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's more for the hunter, but yeah. it's still funny. What's up, Rip? Well, that's promising. 
no way. No way. Yes way. Dude, no kidding. What'd you I do? I just got a 10, 10.83 pound spotted bass first cast. <laughs> oh, man. Are you in my server? First, yeah. I, well, I don't know. I joined Johnny and I thought Johnny was still in your server. I literally just caught it. Is, he's not in your server? I see Johnny. Yeah. And I, Johnny typed holy I mean you might not be why can I oh <laughs> that's crazy First if you're pass. looking at the chat by the way and you get a bite you can't jerk your pole oh man that's awesome Cause that's what happened to me. I was looking to see your diamond and I was trying to set the hook and it won't let me set it. What, you know, when you press enter so you can go up and look through everything. Yeah. If you get a bite right then on PC anyway, you can't set the hook. Oh man. It's biting again though, but I can't see your name anywhere. Evidently, Johnny can because he typed holy like in response to you catching that. But I can't see. So I he can I see it, but I can't. He says you have to run around to load me in. I ain't running nowhere. If you see me running, y'all need to take off running too. <laughs> You're one of those bomb technicians. Yeah. <laughs> like, just move. Dad's a psycho. Entered the reserve. Just as soon as I took a few steps. Johnny, quit being so smart. That really worked? As soon as I took a step, it said Dad's a psycho. Entered the reserve. That's crazy. All this time we've been sitting there going, why haven't we synced up yet? All we had to do is move. Yep. <laughs> My wife's been telling me that for years. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that was a lot bigger than my last one. Wow. Well, you kept it a secret from me. <laughs> that he's known that one for months. Wow. All right. Well, let me do a second cast. I thought he was making fun of our internet or something. Yeah, I know. I thought he was joking the way, you know, because that doesn't sound logical at all. You know? <laughs> So what did you catch since I can't see it? Uh, a 10.83 pound spotted bass. Nice. Yeah, like literally I got the game crashed when I tried to change my bait and I finally got back in, got my bait set up and cast it out with a popper and bam, hit right away. And I saw it come in. It was huge. That's why I was saying no way. <laughs> sure enough, it was. You know, that's my sixth diamond today of a different species. Uh-oh. This one's big. Probably a catfish. Is Johnny out here in the boat? I see a boat out in the middle of this lake right here. <laughs> I'm either going to catch it quick or snap my line quick. Ooh, that thing is really running hard, isn't it?
Well, I'm definitely going to be doing that, Johnny. I had no idea about that. I didn't have to run nowhere. I took one step. And it said you entered the reserve. I still think he's messing with us. <laughs> he just wants to laugh at us when he sees us running around. Yeah, exactly. God, they, they believe me. We'll be in Tackle Ooh. Tuesday, and jo Johnny will be like, I've got five fish caught. Sloan don't have any yet. He's still running around the map. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to load everybody in. <laughs> God, I've been streaming for three hours I just want to get this last one I was hoping to get up in the morning and put the video together <sighs> got that red breast fairly early remember like we weren't far into the stream at all and I was like Yes, I'll knock this EO out. I can make my video and be done with these gear challenges. <sighs> We've gotten close three or four times. And yeah, they go gold at 7.71. <laughs> Is that what somebody said? No, I just messed with because you had a 7.70 earlier. <laughs> yeah. I do think it's eight, though. <laughs> I just keep catching them here, though. You would think I would have spawned in a gold by now, especially in a diamond location. Right. We have caught quite a few in there already. Like, is, is this guy asking me if he wants to be my friend? Is that? Dude, he's been doing that for two days now, and I've already accepted him as a friend, and he still comes up to me and asks me all the time. I, I don't know what's going on, honestly. I mean, he's not going to see my response if I type to him. I honestly don't know. He was fishing with us yesterday morning when you were doing the Canary Kerper early in the morning, you know, the Sunday morning stream. Yeah, I have I mean, I don't care to add him as a friend, but if I type in chat, if he's on console, he's not going to see my response. I, well. You know what I'm saying? Like. I thought, because I can see him. I mean, I saw his request to you just now. That would be typed in, right? You can Unless that, You can see what I type in chat. I I thought I could. I maybe I maybe that's one of the you know the ones in the list that are pre-set up already. I don't know. I might not be able to see it. I thought I could though, but cuz I saw his request to you and I thought he that said was yes. Typed in.
Oh, so I can just type like, yeah. So he can see that where I just said uh -huh. yes. Thanks for doing Karate in the Garage, Team Gaming. Appreciate you. Yeah, he's been fishing with us a lot. I don't have, I mean, I don't. Yeah, I mean, he, heck, he's been following me around for two days now. We just He's been hanging out. He hasn't been obnoxious or anything like that. He's just been fishing. I don't have an issue with it. Uh-oh. Back on. This is going to be another catfish, I believe. Just go ahead and break my line then. Josh Levitt, how you doing, bud? Now he's telling me to try a different bait. <laughs> uh. Yeah. I'll clarify. He ne he hasn't bothered me in the last two days, and he's been following me everywhere. So, doing good, buddy. Doing good. I'd like to get this last challenge out of the way. Here's a bat. I'm at seventy five percent drag. <laughs> I'm just like to the point to where if it's going to break my line, it's going to break it quick. <clears throat> yeah, this one feels a little out of balance because a bronze shouldn't be turning your cherry red. Maybe a big silver, but not a bronze. I didn't yeah, feel it, no, I, I didn't feel it was that way with the other fish. You know, this one feels like it's a little more out of balance than the other ones. Imagine that, Johnny Crowbro's catching spotted bass. What's his biggest? I wonder if I got one bigger than his and he's wanting more. <laughs> I doubt it. With all the ones he caught, he's got to have one bigger than mine. <laughs> I don't even know if that's a real big one or not, to be honest. Can you get into a John boat, like with two people? They said you could. I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't. I'd try it. Yeah, because I mean. I sure don't feel like pushing one of those over here right now. Johnny said 11.2 ones is biggest. Okay, so I still got a ways to go then. Check that out. Thanks, James. I appreciate that. <laughs> Are you fishing with him out in the middle? Well, he yeah, he pulled up to me with a John boat. I was like, I didn't realize I could get in there with him. And yeah, we're headed out right next to John. Is two the limit in a John boat? Record is 11.45. 
Well, there we go. That's what I'm shooting for. I've never tried to put anybody else in a John boat. Bass boat, I've had a few people. I think you can do four in a bass boat, can't you? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna move up a hook size. No, no. You've been yep. going for it, this for two and a half hours. Uh, it, yeah, I caught that red breast early. Lord. Did you get kicked? No, my game crashed again. Oh. Uh, I caught one fish and went to cast the second time and bam. Oh, wait, it was see now that's weird. Okay. I wonder if I join back on him. Will it let me in his boat again? Where is he? He'll probably have to come over to the shore and pick you up. Probably so, huh? Yeah. I would be surprised if you can fast travel to a boat that you didn't summon. No, well, I mean, I'd like go back into the boat, but yeah, that's true. The whole thing got reset, so I'm sure I'm, yeah, I'm back at the outpost I was at where I fast traveled over to this. I guess everybody was moving around because... Most everybody's uh, already synced up with me. And Size five or four for dime spotted. I caught my dime spotted on a four, but that's gold and up. I would suggest catching a few on five first and then moving up. I just caught mine on a six. Yeah. Six, uh, popper. You can catch some of the smaller ones and get them spawning in, you know. I did catch my diamond on a four popper, but. Heck, I caught my tiger fish on a number six popper. My first diamond. For yeah. Ones. That's just luck, like, because it depends on where your bait lands. If it lands closer to a bronze, that bronze is going to bite it before the diamond gets over there to bite it. Right. So... It's just really luck of the draw on that when you're using a small bait. Yeah. When you get a diamond on a small bait, then you've landed closer to a diamond than you did a small fish. So you got to get lucky in that situation. Hey, I'm good with that. <laughs> well, sometimes you don't have any big fish. You got to use a small hook to get them spawning in. Well, you told me that you could get diamond spotted bass there. So I said, you know what? Let me try to, you know, fish for both. They both like poppers. So. I went small enough for the bass and caught that. Yeah. I crashed, James. <laughs> oh, you coming back over? Thank you, man. I appreciate that. Try this again. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, I'm in. Thank you. Six is silver plus. So is five. Five is also silver and up. It's four when it goes to gold. If 
they're probably one of those fish that has like two silver sizes or something. Yeah, six and five or silver unspotted. Ooh. It's going up, but not not too bad. This is promising. This is promising. I hope you get it, man. You've been putting in some time on this one. Goad starts at... We're talking about spotted bass, Josh Levitt. Goad starts at four on spotted bass. saw that Johnny I got a gold there for my diamond on the shore earlier oh I can't wait till I can use other lines and baits and I oh, know all that <laughs> stuff it's like you just you feel liberated you know <laughs> I really hope this isn't a catfish Hey, Crash, what's happening? Hey, what's going on, Crash? Yeah, Crash saw me catch that diamond canary. He was beside me. G-Man had just left when I caught it. Come on, be an eel. Regardless, this is my last one because I have to, have to go. The wife is home. Put me a pot of coffee on, get ready for the national championship game. See if I can read anything up about Calipari. This is an eel. This is an is eel. It? Oh, please be a gold. Yeah, baby. 9.91 pounds. There you go. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Oh, it feels good. <laughs> Paleontologist max your reputation score in a Zillow's blah, 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 blah. and that's Zillow's the exact Zach pronunciation oh gosh I would stream marker that but that's going to be the end of the stream look at that 1000 reputation <laughs> and guess it's what I'm using whatever I want to use from now on on this map. Tomorrow we target dimes. Oh, tomorrow we go to Tackle Tuesday. All right, Wednesday we target dimes. Okay. Whew. That feels good to have that out of the way. Gosh, oh, that was an aggravating one. That was probably the toughest one for me. All right, what we got? I just crashed again, James, so that's why I'm not there. Uh. <laughs> Let's go with Pooch over on Twitch. Slash raid Pooch. Oh, it feels good. It feels so good. Um, I'm free. 
You can, you're relaxed and you can fish for whatever you want. <laughs> Free, I'm going to get up in the morning and just go fish. <laughs> oh. All right, you guys have an awesome evening. I'm going to get ready to go watch this ball game. See you guys. You're see you fine. later. Bye, everybody. We'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll try to get on a little early so we can char target a diamond or something. <laughs> All righty. Good night, everybody. All right, man. Catch you.